Hi, my name is Stuart Leesk, owner and operator of Leespec, and it has actually been a while since we've done one of these videos. Uh, I am truly sorry about that. We're undergoing some change in how we are presenting uh, the media format to you guys and trying to figure out the best way that I can fit recording into my schedule because, to be quite honest, and I don't mean any offense to anybody out there by this, but YouTube is not my number one priority. Keeping the shop going, keeping these projects going and all that, that is actually my number one priority. The YouTube is just because I really, really enjoy sharing my work with you all and hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. Anyways, that is all I'm going to babble about today. Uh, I want to go ahead and jump back into the 34 GTT project that you guys last saw me working on. Um, as far as you guys knew, this car was originally just going to be getting a GTR rear quarter panel transplant. There was some rust issues previously, which were kind of unearthing, which I'll show you a little bit more about today. And the, I guess the project has kind of grown in scope since then. So we've now added a four point roll cage to the docket and the four point roll cage is actually, uh, he bought it from my other R34 customer, the GTR track car. It was what was intended to go in his car originally. It came from Charles out of Canada. So I'll be installing the four point roll cage and this customer has also enjoyed seeing the, uh, the Nuke Performance Air Jack installation that I've been doing on the GTR. So for now, since it kind of ties into some of the areas that I'm gonna to touch on today, we're going to go ahead and install the rear air jacks because I'm already here, I'm already in these, these crucial areas where you need to modify to install them. And so we figured might as well just rip off the Band-Aid, get it out of the way now. So now on the rear end of the car, we'll have the roll cage, we'll have the air jacks, we'll have the GTR quarter panels, and we are going to have a whole lot of panel recreation. So on the topic of panel recreation, let me kind of show you where I'm at on the passenger side, which I believe is where we left off last. You saw me starting to work on the driver side construction, and then uh, I was kind of showing you some of the rear sections of the passenger side. So. Let me show you up close what I'm working on, the pieces, the planning, the process, and we'll go from there. The rear section of the, the pockets of the wheel wells and the front section of the pockets of the wheel wells are both A, undersized because they're GTT specific, and B, they were rusted out, so they had to go. So what I've done over here is I have started recreating some of the panels that were, that were too far rusted for me to keep. And I'll take this quarter panel off in a second to show you, but this is kind of what you see in the, the middle of the part of the process that I'm in right now. So I started by recreating this compound angle piece here in the lower pocket as the inner wheel well actually follows alongside of it. Here you go. It, it follows in right alongside it, and then the wheel well kills into it. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's actually been rather nice. I happen to have a cheat code. Um, I have a complete GTR here next to me that I can use for referencing on panel measurements, panels, panel locations, etc. And in this particular car, we actually removed all of the undercoating. So it makes it very, very easy, and everything's very visible to see. So you can kind of use it as a guide. It's actually been extremely helpful. Uh, that's going to be the rear. So <clears throat> I need to continue this lip where the wheel well meets up with the quarter panel. I need to reconstruct this. I need to reconstruct the actual well itself. And then that will finish off the whole rear area of this quarter panel. This will be ready to, to primer and await any further treatment. On the front, it was going to be a little bit easier. <clears throat> We just had a little bit of this skirt to rebuild because it had had some pretty substantial rust to it. A little bit of this pocket, and then as you can see here, I just need to continue on with this inner seam. When I opened it up, I kind of found a, uh, a decent amount of adventure. So what I'm kind of showing you here is the wheel well when I first started the project. I had just kind of stripped back some of the under sealer. You can see the uh, the Bondo and the filler that was used at the bottom here is kind of a bit of a hollow sound to it. The tin is still kind of soft and loose around there, which is what tipped me off to there being a decent amount of damage under there. Same on this skirt as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking out all of the, the glue and the sealant out of this joint, make my cut line here and then start opening up the cavity and seeing what I'm working with. So I'm talking with the owner now to try to see what we want to do with this, how far we want to take it. 
the air jack actually ends up going into the, uh, you're not going to be able to see it on video, but the air jack is going to end up being around in this location-ish, somewhere around there. I hope I'm feeling in the right area. No, oh, right there. That's going to be where the air jack sits. So when I drill the hole for the air jack tube itself, I'll get a good chance to kind of construct and go through and more correctly assess that situation in that area. Um, and you can kind of see here, this was the, this was the pocket out of here. You can just kind of see it was repaired with some real soft tin, kind of like what we had found on the other side. I would hesitate to even call that sheet. If it is, it's like, uh, it looks the equivalent of like 22 gauge. It's very, very thin. Um, great for a quick repair. Obviously, they kind of tossed it on, Bondo, undercoat, and this car gets the uh, amount of years back out of it that the body shop was looking for, but we're kind of looking for a more long-term solution for our customers. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take this quarter panel off and show you what it looks like from the backside, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, now that the quarter panel's off, with, with uh, everything open and exposed, you can kind of start to see and get a feel for the layering and the order in which all of these parts need to be reproduced, recreated, and how they go back on. So the first step, which I, I'm pretty sure you've seen a, a good bit of this process on my original video, was how we locate this lip and then this inner lip right here with the, uh, the jig that I previously showed that gets welded onto the chassis. How we locate this lip so that we can recreate the, the piece that actually connects the old wheel well to the new lip. And I've got, a, I've got some side footage of me doing this side in particular. And uh, to be quite honest, I have video of it because I ended up redoing this side. Uh, the very first version of this was the very first one I had ever done. And after doing the second side off camera, unfortunately, I'm sorry, after doing the second side off camera, I realized that I wasn't really happy with how I had done the first one. It wasn't representative of how I want work leaving my shop. I want everything that leaves here to be the best that I know that I'm capable of doing. And so for that reason, I decided to redo this. Anyways, I'm very happy that I did. The new one looks amazing. It has a very good shape, very good contour, very good fit, and it's a very good base to work off of. Anyways, that aside, I located it, I cut it, I welded it up, I got it all built up. I've got some footage that I'm gonna show you right here. So what I kind of wanted to show here was the left side is the new panel that I've tacked in all along there. You can see it, it forms a lot better to the, uh, the OE well and has a much better fit. This is the remnant of the previous job that I had done. I ended up going to a TIG brazing method because I was having issues MIG welding this. Um, I later figured out the issue and just kind of wanted a chance to reapproach and reattack this and just kind of get rid of the work that I wasn't very proud of. I'm just going to go ahead and cut there and overlap the new piece on top of it just like this.
And <clears throat> now I've got to finish reconstructing all, all the rest of the wheel well. So if you remember, there's a little inner return lip that has to follow the profile of the quarter panel. That needs to be reconstructed and it needs to be attached and adhered to this so that whenever the quarter panel is on, I can use it as an alignment. I'll probably put like a little jig that kind of holds it in place at the bottom, take the quarter panel back off once more, and then I have a nice clear open vision of what it is that I need to build to reconstruct right here. This inner pocket was important because as you can see, it gets layered between the actual wheel well itself and this, its inner phalange, this uh, skirt piece that goes in the backside underneath. I'm sure there's a better name or description for it, like a drape panel or something along those lines. And then you can also see where all the, the uh, spot welds and everything get hidden inside of the wheel well. So I've got a good bit of work here to do. I need to go ahead and clean this metal, strip it back, get it to bear, get it weldable. Um, you'll see that there's still some overlap on this side from the original panel. I need to go under clean and dress all of this and basically just get this whole situation ready for undercoating. That's what is needed in the back and that's what I'm going to be working on today. So I should have a little bit of footage of this for you guys. Um, hopefully complete it, although I, I really doubt it. Okay, and that concludes everything needed for the rear pocket of the, uh, I guess we'll call it the rear side of the passenger side inner wheel well. So that's kind of the steps that I take for all the, uh, how I measure out the pieces, how I get them cut, how I fit them to size, how I kind of give them shape, give them life, give them phalanges so that they weld better together, yada, yada. You kind of saw some of the fabrication work. Moving forward, uh, as stated before, this car is going to be getting the four-point cage and the air jacks. So I think once the air, jacks, air jack tubes arrive, I'm going to go ahead and start locating the passenger side, since this is the side that I'm predominantly on already. And uh, that will give me an idea as far as how deep all of this is going to go and how far into this me and the customer want to take this project. Um, if we're just going to kind of neutralize some of the, some of the rust around it just work around it or if we're going to start replacing some of the uh, the crush panels some of the sills i'm not sure yet we'll see how deep the damage is anyways i'll be sure to document all of that um uh this is kind of an idea of how the rear wheel well turned out um it's kind of just loosely in the place so not all the joints are lined up just perfect but that's a that's an idea of the finished product all said and done So moving forward, I'll still continue work on this car. Um, I've got some stuff coming up on the 33 that's real cool. We're looking at upgrading the twin turbos. I'm going to be doing some of my new uh, latest titanium piping kit on it. So the piping kit previously shown on that R34, the uh, hot pipe setup. I'm going to be building another one of those for my car to prove that the jig that we built for that product worked. Uh, I'm also going to be doing the equal length downpipe, same as what I did on the R34. And I will be redesigning my exhaust systems with a new resonator setup that Tycon just released. So R32s, 33s, and 34s will benefit from that exhaust system. But it just so happens that I need to get one done for the 33 pretty soon. So that'll be the next move. I also have some stuff coming up on the R34 GTR, uh, namely transmission. Uh, we just purchased a Samsonis unit for that car. So once it's here, we'll probably start beginning mock-up. So we can build transmission mounts and get everything good to go and keep moving on on that project so anyways 34 gtt 33 uh, we're going to kind of call that like a little sub series like road to gtr festival i'll explain it on the first video of that that mini series i think it's going to be some really cool stuff thank you for watching i appreciate your time i appreciate everybody that follows along with this if there's anything that you want to see that you don't feel like i'm doing a good job of videoing or showing please let me know i'd be happy to change it uh i can rearrange camera setups i can record different parts maybe there are some things that i think are boring that you don't think are boring uh input is always helpful so anyways i appreciate your time and thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one